Hi everybody, um, this is a quick video to give you a preview of a new feature that's coming into the editor real soon. Um, basically this is to get around what I think is probably a common problem. So I've got a tune here called Love Somebody and if I go into the audio I've got a bass on track one quite funky. Uh, track two I've got like a distorted rhythm guitar. Then some keyboards and like a sound effect drone and then I've got a kind of funky kind of clean rhythm guitar. And then some kind of brass stabs in track six. And that's all fine and good, but I have a breakdown um, in the middle of the song where I just play track one and track five. Sorry, track one and track four? No, track one and track five. Like that. Now, because they're far away on the looper, uh, track one's on mode one, track five's on mode two. When I actually come to really stop the track, I have to do lots of tap dancing. So what I really want is track five to be track two. Yeah. So let's see how we swap track five and track two using the editor. So let's go into set list manager and I'll show you how I'll do it. So this is track 70. So I'll go down here, track 70. What I'll do is I'll pick that up and I'll stick it in your set list. Because that means I've got a copy. So if I completely screw up, I can just drag it off my set list and I'm good to go. You know, so I haven't I haven't destroyed anything. So now let's go into the memory editor. Well, actually no, I'll show you something cooler. Set list manager. Right click on it, I can now show it in the memory editor and it will take me to the memory editor automatically for me. That's a bit cooler, isn't it? Right. So now I'm in here, I can go to loop. Now these sections here are now green. So when you see sections that are this kind of format, it means you can drag and drop between them. You know, So I could take track two and I could pick it up and I could drop it onto track five. And it will say, what do you want to do? Do you want to overwrite track five with track two? Or do you want to swap track five and track two? Well, I want to swap them. Okay, so they should now be swapped. So if I now go to the audio manager, track two is now funky, track five should be the dirty one, which is kind of cool. So let me go back in here and let's see what else. You've got these action buttons. So with the action button, when you press um, the action button you're basically setting the source and when you click something else you're setting the target uh, so if I wanted to take the drone that was on track 4 and swap that with track 6 I could just press there track 4 track 6 and it says what do you want to do do you want to overwrite track 6 or track 4 do you want to swap track 6 and track 4 or do you want to reset the action because it may be you've clicked the wrong thing and you want to say, oh, no, actually, I want this to be the, the source of the, the action. So let's swap them. So track four is now track six. So track four was the drone. So I'm expecting that drone now to be the last one. Which is cool. So what we got here? So the last thing I want to do then is to take that distorted one and put it where track four is, I think. Yeah, so my stabs are on track five. Yeah. So four and five, I want to switch them. So let's go in here. I want to take four, switch it with five. So now then, when I come into here, track one should be bass. Track two should be clean guitar. Track three should be my keyboards. 
track 4 should be a dirty guitar. 5 should be my brass stabs. And 6 should be my drone. Cool. There you go. How cool is that? Sorry, forgot to mention there, there's something else you can do which is pretty damn cool. When you're in here looking at these um, these new section actions that you've got, when I set the source, so my, my source in here is track 4 from this tune, Love Somebody. Yep. I could then go into another location and paste it in there. So when I'm copying between locations, you just basically have that kind of overwrite functionality. So it says, do I want to overwrite track six with track four from that previous tune? Which is damn cool, I think. But anyway, I thought I'd add that. <laughs> 